In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make animated textures like this using Texture Hop. Texture Hop is a free After Effects preset. There's also a paid version, which includes 10 high resolution textures, as well as a Premiere Pro Mogur version. So inside of After Effects, I'm gonna create a new composition. It's 1920 by 1080 and 24 frames per second. And then I'm just gonna add one of these textures to my composition. So I'll zoom out and you can see this is a pretty large texture and it's not doing anything, it's just a static image. But I can go to the effects and presets panel and apply the texture hop preset. Now if I hit play, it's going to automatically create this little animation. And what this is doing is it's randomizing the position, but doing so in a way where it's never gonna clip outside of the composition. So with this selected, I can change a few more things. Uh, under the effect controls, if I go to texture hop, I can see the frame rate. My composition's frame rate is 24 frames per second, but this animation is playing at eight frames per second. So that actually means that it's gonna happen eight times a second, which is, in this case, is every three frames. So one, two, three, it's gonna change positions. One, two, three, changes positions again. And by default, just position is gonna be randomized. I'm gonna to toggle this off and then show you a few of the other ones. So this is rotation, which is just gonna randomize it between zero and 360 degrees. Reflection is gonna change the scale so that it goes between 100% and negative 100% for both the X and the Y value of the scale. And if I play that back, you can see what that's doing. And then randomize scale is going to randomize the position between the scale minimum and the scale maximum. And it's gonna do so multiplied by the whatever you set the scale to. So in this case, 100%, so that means these are the actual values, but if this was 200%, then it would be double whatever this is. So just keep that in mind. I'll change this back to 100. And now I can go ahead and toggle all of these on so you can see them working together. And I'll just play this back. And just like that, I have a nice little texture animation that I can use in any project. Now, if I wanted to add some color to this, I could select the layer and then add the tent effect. And then I could change this white value to whatever I want. So maybe I want like a blue. And now I've got this nice blue paper animation. Now I'm gonna make a new composition and this time, let's say I had a smaller texture. So if I were to select this layer and apply texture hop, it's gonna get a weird result. So in this case, if your image is too small, you'll wanna make sure you scale it up to properly fit within the comp. So in this case, maybe I'll scale it up to 200%. Now, since this is vertical, it's not really randomizing the horizontal uh, position too much. So one way to fix this is to go to rotation and I could just change this to 90 degrees. And now um, it'll have a lot more, a lot more room to move around. And so that's already looking better. Now, if I go to the effect controls here, if I were to randomize rotation, right off the bat, you can see this is already getting clipped. So when you randomize rotation, uh, you need to make sure the image is even a little bit bigger. So in this case, maybe 225 would be a safe range. Um, I could go ahead and randomize the reflection, but again, I wouldn't want to randomize scale, or if I did, I would want to change this minimum. I kind of already am happy with this 225 minimum, so I'd want to change this to 100% to keep it at that, and then change this maximum to be higher, so maybe the maximum could be 125. And then if I play this back, this should still be safe. So that's how to use a smaller image. So if I zoom in, this is a little grainy, but depending on how you're using this, it could still work for your project. So that is Texture Hop. If you have any questions, feel free to email help at aescreens.com or drop a comment in this video. Until next time, take care.